Brad, what's the level of frustration with the officiating right now? Uh, first place, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Honestly, it's out the roof. It really is. It's really unfair and unacceptable and that they allow a lot of stuff to go on with me out there and not get calls, period. It's just unacceptable. Is it nice to see that Ish and Davis are out there kind of sticking up for you sometimes? I was very appreciative of it, you know. Um, to be able to have teammates that fight for you, coaches that fight for you, a team that fights for you. And, you know, I fight for myself too, and I fight for these guys just as well. So, you know, we're all in it together. You know, we know that you know, everybody doesn't respect us with the, you know, the greatest of respects around the league. You know, and that's other teams, and that's, you know, refs included. So, you know, we just got to control what we can control and, you know, leave them alone and just play basketball. Scott Brooks about the refs and how they're treating you. Is it kind of just reach a point where you guys just kind of feel like you have to say something? I mean, I mean, they find us for saying something. Then, you know, when we do say something, you know, it's on the floor. It's, oh, I didn't see it or it wasn't my call. And it's just, I'm just so tired of hearing it. You know, it's, there's three guys out here. I know nobody's perfect, but the blatant ones have to be called, and they're not being called. And that sh that shit ain't fair. Have you noticed more of this uh, this year? 100. percent It's just been it's been it's been bad. It's been bad. I feel like uh, a lot of the officiating calls has to do with the fact that uh, teams are, you know, doubling you and trapping you a lot of times where you don't even have the ball because they're, you know, holding you, preventing you from getting the ball. What else can uh, the team do besides uh, worrying about the officials or um, worrying about making calls to, to try to get the ball moving and get, um, you know, looking for cutters and looking for shooters? No, I mean, we just obviously got to continue to, you know, play basketball. You know, they're not going to call it. Just keep hooping. Uh, and, for me, off balls is one of the things I, I wrestle with refs all the time about because you're supposed to have freedom of movement. And half the time, I don't even have freedom to even go touch my teammate if I, on the shoulder if I wanted to. So it's, it's just those things that are frustrating, you know, things that are just blatant and obvious that should be called and they're not called. Um, but as, as a team, you know, I got to be better at being more physical, getting open, you know, stop complaining. And, uh, and we, we just got to be better at screening for each other, me setting screens and just trying to figure out ways, you know, I just can't. Can uh, just can't keep accepting it. I mean, in figuring out ways, there were a lot of there was points where you guys were really close mm -hmm. and getting. I mean, what were what was being said in the title like to keep that going? You guys, it was a close game at certain points. I mean, for sure. I mean, because we had the juice, we had the momentum of the game. You know, I feel like in the second half we had a lot of control of the game in a way, and um, you know, we we went on our run, and that was all defense. That was all guys getting stops. It was really the second group. They got stops and got after it, and they were making plays on the offensive end. And it was just second nature, you know. And then, you know, we come in and try to do the same things, and it just didn't go our way. But, you know, we, for the most part, throughout the whole game, we were right there, like you said. It was just a few plays down the stretch that didn't go our way. Nice. I'm sorry. Y'all ready? Nine for, you went nine for 12 tonight. What do you think was working for you to feel like best game of the season you've had? Um, I mean, for me, it was just being able to get the touches that I would like to get. And, you know, I've been struggling shooting this season, but, you know, today I just came out confident and just played my game, you know, and just played with confidence. So. Did it feel like you and uh, Davis were starting to pick things up in the second quarter there? You brought the team within, I think, a two one point, and then you got mm -hmm. the lead early in the second quarter. Yeah. Did it feel like you and, and he teamed up to have a, a spark that the team needed after? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like me and Dallas play really well together and we play off each other. But at the end of the day, you know, we were playing like a team and we were all moving the ball and running in transition and getting stopped. And so at the end of the day, that's what it is. Um, our biggest problem right now is defense. And so being able to play in such a fast pace, especially when we have a lot of guards on the team, is really helping us right now. So. Coach Brooks and uh, Brad both. Uh, had some words about the, the way the team's been officiated, not only tonight, but kind of throughout the season. From perspective, what, what do you see out there tonight, and what do, do you think that Brad doesn't get some of the calls he should be? Um, I don't really know how the fine stuff works you know, <laughs> <laughs> about uh, the refereeing stuff, so I'm not going to really comment on that, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I do feel like Brad does sometimes get the short end of the stick, but, you know, it, it goes a long way with anybody, you know, like, it's 
night in and night out. You know, refs have a job and they're paid to do it and they make the calls. So. When uh, Davis and then even Ish kind of pick up a t t to on Brad's behalf, kind of, what does that say about them? I mean, it's just sticking up for your team. And I feel like they both do a great job of, you know, because Brad doesn't really want that rep of being a guy that complains about the refs all the time. So he's kind of just accepted it. And, you know, for them to step up and kind of do that just to prove a point, you know, it had nothing to do with them like yelling at the officials. They didn't say anything wrong. It was just they were just trying to prove a point for their teammates. And from a young guy perspective, I can respect that. Well, you know, like I, I had to turn the whole mentality around you know I was one of the young guys in San Antonio and uh, I had to listen always and uh, you know, it took some time for me to kind of get to the role that I understand like I'm one of the more experienced players on this team you know I've had plenty of years in Europe and uh, and in San Antonio before so you know it just uh, with all that I kind of feel like that I'm one of those guys that uh, that should help the rookies and then the young guys kind of understand the system what we want to do. From your perspective what are you seeing happen to Brad on these plays where you're like, how is that not called? Sorry? Well, I guess, is it Brad getting hit in the arm or like being bumped or what are you seeing that he's not getting the call for? I think I'm not allowed to comment on sure. that. So. Um, and then I guess just you this season, you're having a career year, do you feel like you're getting more like attention on scouting port from defenses? I don't. I don't think so. It's think been the they, same. It feels like they're still overlooking me, and I'm totally fine with that. Fair enough. Cool.